Antibody drug conjugates are a new, very promising technique, as two studies have shown in today's session on developmental therapeutics. Marcus Jürger from St. Gallen Cancer Center highlights their future perspectives. Dr. Modi presented data of a new antibody drug conjugate that is targeting LYE6 that is expressed in breast, um, lung and pancreas tumors. Interestingly, this, this compound has toxicity similar to chemotherapy, but it did not hit uh, those limiting toxicity. They saw then very in intriguing activity data in uh, expansion cohorts of patients with breast and lung cancer. In the second contribution from Dr. van der Hoeven, she showed data from a la radio-labeled antibody drug conjugate, circutuzumab aminoleukin, that is an interleukin-2, a variant antibody. And radio labeling was, was done to show drug accumulation in tumors. In fact, the investigators saw that the compound is accumulating in tumors, and there was even an association between drug accumulation in tumors and subsequent um, treatment response by FTG PET. With the second compound, Sergutuzumab, it will be very intriguing to see data from an ongoing study that combines this drug with the anti pdl one monoclonal antibody, Atezolizumab. Cachexia could affect the majority of patients with advanced cancer, but the armamentarium to treat is still poor today. According to Paolo Bossi from Istituto Tumori in Milan, binding of anamorelin to ghrelin receptors could be a new effective approach. The Japanese study that is uh, that's been presented today showed that, that uh, thanks uh, to 100 mg to anamorelin compared to placebo, patients with uh, stage 3 and 4 uh, uh, non-small cell lung cancer were able to obtain an increase in limb body mass and an increase in an improvement in the anorexia and cachexia symptoms. And this was evident even if there was no change in the hand grip strength. This is a good trial because it offers other opportunities to the physicians in order to have other drugs to be employed in such neglected symptoms. We need need more trials in particular to compare uh, uh, anamorelin with, uh, uh, with the drugs that we have now in our hands, that is uh, uh, essentially corticosteroids and progestins in order to evaluate the difference between these two kinds of drugs and uh, perhaps the, uh, to evaluate if we have an increased benefit thanks to anamorelin.